this thing. <laughs> hey everyone, Surreal K9 here. Welcome back for more of this guy 3, Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we defeated the uh, DS gentleman and got this, the puppy paw stick. And in this episode, we are going to demonstrate its item duplicating powers. Let's go to the class world. For this to work optimally, you want to have a character between levels 80 and 100, uh, have the Puppy Paul Stick equipped on a high-leveled Mal, and, uh, go into your class world. Um, actually, I am going to, uh, optimize a little further by, uh, uh, where's Mal? Alright, I am going to uh, put Adele here in the true robber store. That way we can uh, get him mana while we're doing the thing. Now, admittedly, I am probably not going to... Uh... Well, maybe I am. Let's... Uh... Yeah, let's boost his, uh, throwing range. Why not? See where we go with it. Alright, now, we are going to look for a dropout. There is one right there. Now, the great thing about having the, uh... The Puppy Paw Stick equipped to Mao is that... If you use Vasa Air Gun with it... It will count as killing with the Puppy Paw Stick, so... There is about a 20% chance that you'll get one of uh, the items you've equipped to Adele. In this case, the uh, Gravity Knuckle and the Accelerator that I put on him that I want to duplicate. I'm going to be awesome, though, and use Elusive Quake. As you can see, nothing happened. That is fine. It was only a 20% chance, and we're going to run into more dropouts as we... Uh, as we continue. All of the Geocubes are silenced. This presents a problem. Oh well. You know, it's it's one of them things. I'm strong! We're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep Mao and Saitama, uh, doing the things here. That way, uh, Adele can get a bit more mana than he would have otherwise. I'm not going to have him use a, have Mao use a skill, though, unless, uh... Unless we actually run into a dropout, because his SP is a little bit limited. <laughs> There's a dropout. Don't mess you up. Let's attack right. from right. here. Vasa air gun. Hey. All right, still nothing. Judgment. I mean, as awesome as it would have been if I got that on the first try, I did not get that on the first try. There's one. It's kind of in an awkward spot, though. Experiment. Right there. Forty-five percent chance of the. Uh, no, I'm going to uh, attack from up here and at least get a slightly better chance of stuff. Uh, still no item. Judgment. I hope this wasn't patched out. I'm strong. That would be insanely annoying. There's another one. This is this is what the fourth dropout. Experiment. Right there. Right. Hey. 
There we go! Gravity Knuckle Get! Why don't we equip that on Saitama? As you can see, it even duplicated our innocence. Which is exactly what we want from our thing. Alright, so I have not been made a fool of. It still works. <laughs> That's good. I do not like it when video games make a fool of me. Judgment! Judgment! All right. That being said, we can uh, we can keep the keep. Oh yeah. Let's I'm keep the keep. Keep on keeping on with the dawn, with the do, hoobity bobbity beebity bow. There's our, uh, there's our world. If you're lucky, you can usually expect to duplicate one of these things per uh, class world run. Here's the throw committee. We made it, guys. We got. One extra throw for Adele. That's great. But yeah. The other bonus of this is that you, uh... Judgment. <coughs> if you keep going through the class world, you are going to get at least one person's aptitudes to an insane sort of level. I'm talking like this guy a one uh, Zune sort of levels, <laughs> except his aptitudes were not really that high. They were all 120%. We can get up to 300% here, which is really something. I'm strong. And that is definitely not something I want to do on camera, but I may do it during my streams. Oh, yeah. Which I guess is also the same thing as being on camera, but it's optional. Yay for optional content. Uh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> All right, plus sixteen to aptitudes. Let's, uh, Well, first of all, let's get rid of this cross counter now that we don't need, even need it. Let's de-equip Saitama and Adele and do a bit of uh, transferring. Alright, now hopefully... Oh. <laughs> well, dang it. Oh well, we got a, we got some coaches out of it. Alright, so now I know not to do that. <laughs> if you're going to fuse your innocence, make sure there's only one stack of managers. Uh, the stacks of managers stack upon each other. If you have two stacks of 300 on an item, you will get plus 600% mana. There are other kinds of innocents that stack this way too, uh, statisticians being among them. We have not encountered statisticians yet, uh, but we will someday. <laughs> I am sure of this. Alright, so, that being said, um, I am probably going to uh, farm a whole bunch of managers for no particular reason. <laughs> Just to uh, get my guy's mana production up a whole bunch. You can theoretically equip up to uh, 24 stacks of managers on an item, and that's what? Uh, plus 9600 uh, percent mana? Which is, I mean, just insane. I mean, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. Actually, you know what? I don't even really need to do that. I will probably be farming accelerators for uh, Saitama, though. And maybe some other dudes, too. Alright, that being said, I'll see you all next time when we begin Death Institute, Majin Academy, or something along those lines. <laughs>
See you all then.